we will see if David has been paying attention enough to do the problem. Right? No, that would be fun. All right, so last thing, guys, is again reflecting the y equals x. Now, some of you might say, all right, you have the x axis, y axis. Origin's kind of a little tricky, but I guess I kind of get it. Well, what is the y equals x line? I'm not going to explain the y equals x line and where it comes from, but if you're to graph a linear equation, Right? You guys know how to graph x plus 1, right? Or something like that, right? You guys learned how to graph that in algebra 1. So if I just gave you the equation y equals x, create a table, whatever x equals, y equals. And you guys can see that would create that dotted line. So now when I say reflect over the y equals x line, that's what I want you guys to reflect. So the rule, rather than trying to take this and reflect it over, the rule for that is swapping the variables. So you don't negate any of the variables. You just swap them. So now my a prime is going to be negative 3, negative 1. My b prime is going to be negative 4, 3. And my c prime is going to be negative 5, 1. All right? So now let's just go and plot our new points. So my a prime is negative 3, 1, 2, 3, negative 1. My b prime is negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 1, 2, 3. And my c prime is negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1. And does that look like it's a reflection about the y equals x line, Josh? Yes? OK, very good. Now, sorry. 